Okay, this is a test of uh, video quality uh, on a Canon Digital Rebel SL1 for use for uh, doing a show production. Um, right now I'm using the internal microphone. However, uh, this is uh, basically an, a noise test. Um, Essentially, the camera settings uh, currently being used, I'm in fully manual mode, um, uh, one thirtieth of a second shutter, f2, I'm uh, using the 50mm um, f1.8 uh, STM uh, Canon lens that was just recently released, and I'm right now with these lights, I'm at ISO 200 um, as uh, kind of a, a uh, after but while I'm pulling the footage into the computer in FFmpeg, I have a basic noise reduction uh, video filter, the DQ3ND or whatever it's called, um, at its default settings, just as a basic minor noise reduction uh, in in the footage. But this is largely just to test to see what this profile looks like out of the camera, as well as uh, what kind of noise I can expect to see out of the camera at the various ISO settings. So right now we're manually focusing and I'll do a, a just a little spin around the room to test dynamic range with this profile and video noise and that sort of thing. So uh, here we have a light. Um, you know we're gonna come come down through here. There's a fair amount of things that are in focus. I'm gonna pull focus to uh, the, the uh, little uh, Ping Ninos or whatever those are called, tasty little treats uh, in the background. In the foreground here, you're looking at a Canon Digital Rebel XTI, and yes, that is in fact a Hasselblad 120 film camera. We're gonna kind of keep panning here, um, and I'm gonna change focus to the various things uh, that uh, I want to look at uh, focus-wise and noise level wise looking at the histogram I'm just gonna pull up here uh, and um, uh, look to see what that looks like on the histogram inside my editing suite for exposure that's not quite 18 percent gray but that's okay you know if we want we can focus on it alright let's go ahead and pull focus back to this Let's come through here. This is shooting some, you know, I'll bet fairly dusty but uh, shiny plastic with a bright light next to it. Um, it's, you know, this is my uh, Canon multifunction. Let me get focus here. There we go. My my Canon multifunction uh, printer. Uh, Coming out here, yes, that is in fact a baby gate. <laughs> um, going into what could be some darker areas back here. Interesting. Uh, coming in through here. Coming, you know, some fairly fairly bland looking things. This is my video rig as it's uh, a work in progress uh, shooting against some black um, shelving with some uh, various Lego toys pretty neat okay now here's a fairly, I've got a light here and a light here, so some fairly bright area here, so it'll be interesting to see how that handles that. Uh, coming back down through here, oh I just might mention the uh, color balance I'm using is daylight because all of the lights in here are daylight color balanced. Um, now we're going to uh, basically, as I continue to pan here, totally blast out because uh, I've got a fairly large amount of light here so this is how nicely or badly 
we're going to handle clipping uh, and dynamic range. This is actually not doing a bad job. So we've got our bright lights here. That looks totally blown out um, in terms of brightness. Coming down here, and then panning back around. Let's get focus onto the monitors. Um, let's pull focus in onto this guy right here. Yeah, this is a pretty shallow depth of field. Let's go ahead and focus on that. There's the uh, 24 millimeter pancake lens that I usually uh, shoot with but it only goes to f2.8 and I really wanted to test the uh, lower ISOs just to see what they look like noise wise and then uh, we're gonna focus on this because this is one thing I've noticed with other in other footage is right in here uh, is where a lot of my noise shows up so I just want to make sure that I've got this in sharp focus relatively sharp focus you can't punch in while I'm shooting so I'm just eyeballing this here for what looks sharpest on the back of the screen alright so uh, what we'll basically do from this point forward is go through the various um, ISOs and I'll be changing the f-stop to uh, compensate for the fact that I'm jacking the ISO up and we're gonna go basically all the way up to the maximum ISO as best I can just to see uh, what we get so that'll be the next clip okay on this clip everything in the camera setting wise from the last clip is the same the only difference is we are now uh, at ISO 400 and F28 so I think what I'm gonna do is uh, start off focused on this guy right here just so I can see what the noise performance looks like now I obviously will be looking at this uh, before it goes through FFmpeg but FFmpeg I'm going to use to concat all these clips together and just do a really basic noise reduction before I upload it to YouTube um, so this is not edited at all this is all in camera um, you know just looking to see what uh, noise looks like we're gonna pull focus again to that guy looks good we're gonna come back here to the front focus see how well it handles a lot of the highlight stuff here's another light here uh, looks pretty good let's go ahead and focus on uh, this guy here and just hold this for a second to see what noise level looks like there uh, let's uh, just kind of come through here here we go again where we've got this um, shiny plastic we're gonna come back down here to the uh, to the kitty gate to keep the kids out of the office we're gonna come back through here just to see where we what we look like in terms of low light you know there's several stops down there that bathroom lights off so the only light that's going in there is the light from my office same thing if I uh, move this way to shoot into the kitchen there there's a little light in the kitchen but otherwise uh, all the lights downstairs that are on are in my office and there's one little light in the kitchen and again we're running daylight balanced because all of my lights here are daylight balanced this is a nice uh, thing to look at for noise so I'm just gonna kinda sit here for a second same thing with this this is a white closet door so uh, should be pretty interesting there's uh, my video rig as I've uh, got been getting it built up this is actually subject to change because I'm changing how I'm going to do my video and then again 
shooting against the black shelving. Got the light there. Ultralight airplanes. ISO 400. Got all this cool Lego stuff here. Kind of pull this into focus. There we go. That looks good. It'll be easier to pull into focus as my uh, my f-stop lowers. All right. Now we're gonna come into here. Got that in focus. Let's get the blinds in focus. Here we are again, blasting out. Got a really bright light there. Um, just to see how it handles it at the higher ISO. Got a fair amount of stuff. Let's pull this into focus. Let's come here. Let's pull the can into focus. There we go. Now let's pull the mixing console into focus. There we go. That looks good. A little bit of focus breathing, but not bad. The monitor obviously is a little blown out. Uh, once again, here's my 24 millimeter lens that I usually use instead of the 50 mil that I'm shooting now. And then we're back here. So let's go ahead and just focus on this Cable Matters text. All right, next up. Okay, here we are again. Once again, everything uh, setting-wise is the same in the camera from the uh, first segment, except our f-stop is now f4, and we are now at ISO 800 on the Canon uh, Digital Rebel SL1. So let me just focus here on uh, this guy here momentarily just to take a look at uh, what noise looks like here. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and focus on that. And then we're basically just going to come rolling back around here again. Now our depth of field is obviously getting quite a bit wider. So it's a lot easier to uh, pull, get focus. This is one of the things that a lot of... Uh, people that shoot independent films don't realize is you and one of the reasons why the Canon C100, C300, C500 and uh, the new Mark II models of all that have a native ISO of 800 and 850 is so that you can shoot with an f4 or an f5.6 or even an f8 at, at indoors and actually still get uh, respectable Uh, ease of focusing and still have a respectable depth of field you know I mean when you when you stop and look at this you know I mean I'm shooting this at 50 millimeter you know film and if I go and pull focus so that the Kodak is for the most part in focus that's not really in focus there we go there right same thing with this microphone stand that's see that I mean to give a little perspective there's not that much difference between the, that on the right and the text in the back in fact there's very little difference so at any rate uh, interesting okay so let's get this in focus here. Let's come back down this way. Get this in focus. Let's go back here like so. See how well this handles this at ISO 800. Looks pretty good. Pull this into focus here. Actually doesn't look bad at all. Let's come down this way. There we go. 
I'm actually surprised how little focus breathing this lens has. This has almost no focus breathing at all. That's awesome. So anyway, um, you know, here we go. Shooting against a black shelving unit with a fairly decent amount of light. Coming up here. Star Wars. I gotta build that set. One of these days I gotta build that set. Okay, let's come up here. We got some brightness. Let's see how well ISO 800 handles any of this. There we go. Alright. Nice and in focus. There we go. Alright, so let's go take a look at this. Yeah, all right, let's see how well that handles that in terms of blowing out. Probably not that great. Uh, let's get this guy here. In focus, now let's go ahead and pull focus back to there. Not bad. Once again, there's my 24 millimeter STM lens that I usually use on this camera for stills. Um, and there we go. Let's uh, focus on this again just to make sure that we've got a nice reference track. We're going to focus back on cable matters. All right. Okay, in this segment we are looking at F56 and ISO 1600. Um, just in terms of focusing, I can tell that it's quite some bit uh, higher depth of field. Um, so let's go ahead and just kind of... Oh, well, okay, there's more focus breathing at this higher ISO. Alright, so... Uh, Let's just look at this here for a sec. So I just want to see what the noise performance is at ISO 1600. Uh, once again, we're just going to kind of scroll through here. That looks good. Oh yeah, our depth of field is a lot bigger. See that difference? Very little difference between the two. All right. Um, we're just going to kind of step through here like this. Excellent. Let's come up here. Take a look at what that looks like in terms of noise performance. Going to come back through here again. We got another light. It's doing a fair amount of illumination here um, against the printer. We're going to come down this way, get that in focus. Again, we're going to come back down this way like so. We're going to get all that back there. in focus. Interestingly enough, I just hit infinity focus. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look here what we look like back here. Interesting. Okay. Now here we have some nice just standard-ish contrasty type things. Again, we've got our white closet door illuminated by all the lighting, so this should not be clipping at all, and it doesn't look like it is. Um, there is a door seam there. Yeah, we're not even close to clipping, it doesn't look like. Um, again, the video rig as it's in progress 
shooting some uh, black against some black here just to see what kind of dynamic range we're going to get again light light just to see where we're at in terms of dynamic range excellent okay pretty good alright let's come down here and do this test again where we pull this in and get our can in nice good sharp focus now we're gonna push focus back to this guy back here there we go 24 millimeter lens I have to say I'm actually amazed at how good the video looks on the SL1 uh, just seeing it on the back of the um, there we go just seeing it on on the back of the display here at, for 330 megabytes a minute this is actually amazingly good all right okay all the settings are exactly the same as the last little clip with one minor difference we are now at f8 and ISO 3200 so uh, should be starting to have a fair amount of noise uh, creep in I can see the noise grain um, I can definitely see the noise grain on the display so I'm curious to see what this looks like after it goes through uh, the denoise and FFmpeg and I'm curious to see what the raw straight off the SD card looks like before anything is done to it uh, so you know once again we're just gonna kinda s step through here you know as you can see our depth of field is quite a bit higher we got a fair amount of focus breathing going on here at f8 that seems like the higher my f number the more stop down I am the more focus breathing there is because wide open there's almost no focus breathing uh, interesting Hasselblad again we got our our film here weird all right let's go ahead and go on up here yeah there's a fair amount of focus breathing going on um, you know we got our bright light here again coming down this way 3200 does have some noise it's definitely a noisier but not nearly as bad as I would have thought shooting down into a, a bathroom where there are no lights on not bad alright let's go ahead and come back in here again like this shoot into the kitchen alright let's take a look at the noise performance here this is kind of a flesh tone not really a flesh tone this is our white closet door it's kind of mostly white closet door uh, and then again the video rig Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
There we go. Shooting against. Yeah, I definitely. There's definitely a lot more focus breathing on uh, on this than uh, shooting wide open at f8. All right, let's go ahead and. Take a look, Gander here. Again, going into our light, just totally blowing it out. Not nearly as much dynamic range as I'd like to see there. All right, let's go ahead and pull our focus into this so that we've got this nice and sharp. And then let's go ahead and push focus back to that and again 24 millimeter lens coming back there we go and then let's go ahead and just There we go. All right. Okay. This is ISO 6400. I left the uh, aperture at f8 and bumped my shutter up to 1 60th of a second. So uh, this is definitely noisier for sure. I can totally see uh, noise grain. Um, Although the images, you know, just on the back LCD screen, I can totally see noise grain. Although I had, I do have to say the image is quite a bit cleaner than I would have expected it to be. Still shooting the pro loss. So let's just kind of come here and focus in on this a little bit. Um, you know, for these light levels, this is definitely... Uh, definitely got some noise going on here you can for sure see it here um, but again this is actually not nearly as as bad as I would have expected it to be you know uh, in terms of of dynamic range it, it actually looks quite a bit the same it's just noisier which is pretty cool um, there we go you know I mean it definitely is noisier for sure uh, let's go ahead and focus in on that and then come down here you know this is this is kind of the the true test of what you'd expect to see noise wise um, you know in the bathroom where there's basically no light at all and then if we come down through this way and again focus on the light in the kitchen and then pull the focus forward and then just kind of get this in focus and just look to see what the noise level looks like here look to see what the noise level looks like here It's not even in focus, is it? There we go. That's in focus. There. All right. Shooting against the black, you can definitely see uh, noise for sure 
in the black but coming up here this is all blasted out um, You know, when, you, when you've got, you know, some br fairly bright foreground, you don't really notice so much the noise in the back, I don't think. Uh, let's just kind of go around this way. Same thing if you've got a, a fairly bright... light source going down you don't really notice the noise performance so much per se uh, when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, that sort of thing EFS 24 and then we're going to come back around this way I mean definitely there's let's look at that definitely there's noise for sure you know I mean even coming down here you can definitely in the darker areas you can definitely see noise at ISO 6400 now typically this is the highest I would ever shoot is ISO 6400 but they do have an expanded which is the ISO 12004 or 12800 or whatever it is so um, I'm actually let me get this in focus here I'm actually gonna try that just to see what it looks like next Okay, this is uh, 1 60th of a second. All, basically, all the settings are the same from the last clip, except uh, we're still, so we're still at 1 60th of a second. Now we're at F11, and the ISO high of 12,800 is all you can shoot in video mode. That's the absolute maximum, and uh, it's definitely looking noisy on the back of the screen here uh, let me just uh, kind of rack focus here a little bit you know you get down into the shadow areas that's definitely noisy now the interesting thing is you can still shoot this but look at the bright area that doesn't look nearly as bad the dark area behind it definitely so you know, if you need to have a really high depth of field, don't be afraid to jack the ISO up a little bit. Now, there there will be a point where it starts to fall apart, um, but uh, you know, the cameras are starting to get to where you can you can shoot pretty clean. Um, let me get focus here, where you can shoot pretty clean for a fair amount of stuff. But uh, even the well exposed areas here definitely are starting to show noise exposure. You know, come up into here. That's definitely showing noise exposure. Really bad noise exposure. All right. So we're going to look at this. Here we go again. Another light source. Here we've got some, you know, dark shiny plastic. You can definitely see the uh, the noise for sure. Now, if you're seeing this, well, you you will be seeing this on YouTube. For those of you seeing this on YouTube, it's not nearly as doesn't look nearly as bad because again, um, I I did a basic denoise pass as a video filter in FFmpeg as I can catted these together. Um, but with that being said, you know, that definitely looks awful. I mean, that is really awful, right? And let's even 
come into here there we go coming forward all right let's get that into focus just so that we can look to see what kind of noise grain we have this probably isn't nearly as bad after a little bit of noise reduction but still you know not necessarily something that I would want you know myself again you're gonna see more noise as you shoot against a dark background like this I mean just look at that but as soon as you start to blow things out it doesn't look nearly as bad so the brighter it is you can shoot with a higher ISO for sure um, and if you have a relatively bright foreground you don't really notice the fact that your background is or that your darker areas are just absolute bupkis you know I mean when you look at that that actually doesn't look bad and you know coming up into here like this that actually doesn't look bad but the darker areas like right there definitely uh, show noise I mean same thing here you know you come onto the scan if I can get my finger on the, on the focus wheel here there we go okay focusing on this on this can definitely I mean it's definitely noisy but it's not bad but as soon as you make the point of focus something that's dark boy it starts to get awful I mean, just look at that that's not good at all alright coming back down to here definitely got noise showing up here I don't even have to focus that hard on it and I can see it I mean, that's bad so anyway um, that's the test this is just again like I said basic uh, video quality test to uh, evaluate this for how good it is I didn't do an ISO 100 because quite frankly uh, I don't have enough light to get a properly exposed ISO 100 and ISO 200, 400, 800 look awfully clean. Uh, so 100 I'd expect to be super clean. Um, I'm, I may do another test where I'm outdoors and shooting ISO 100 and end up having to shoot like F8 or something uh, at 1 60th just to see um, you know what that gives me. But at this point this looks like this will conclude and then uh, I'll get this uh, concatted together and with a basic uh, uh, FFmpeg denoise and uh, then uh, rendered up into one uh, file and uploaded it to YouTube.